ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJA9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions and another five-star gold character gameplay preview video. And today, we got the all-new free character, Dakota Kai, damage control, stepping in, and uh, you love to see it. I called it on stream last week. They said, who do you want to see, DJ? And I said, damage control, and here they are. So somebody's listening. Character model looks pretty good to me, too. Looks pretty good to me. I'm actually, uh, I'm a Dakota Kai fan, too. Love Dakota Kai. Look at that. You love to see it there. You love to see it. I got you, Dakota. Okay, that training ability. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The training ability is so good. Moves that uh, generate trap gems will create two more trap gems. And trap gems do 50% more damage. So, it's going to be good. At first, I was like, I don't know. But my chat assured me of a whole slew of people that that's going to be great on, and I can't wait to see uh, who comes up with the best way to use this training ability. Because it ain't going to be me, but I'll tell you all about it after somebody else does. Damage control. Blue moves start with eight more move points. That's incredible. That's actually incredible. She has no fancy gear. And the Kyo kick is the five-star move. So the bonus damage per every botch gem. And we're going to start out with a botch gem uh, five-star setup here. We're going to go triple purple. And this is something I always love to see, too. The double foot stomp, seven charge, deal 95,000 damage, and make 11 random gems into purple gems. I love moves that spam the same color of the move they are. It allows you to run three moves of this color. And then we got the Kyo kick, eight charge purple, deal 103,000 damage, plus 22,000 bonus damage for every botch gem. Then the Cairo Practor, 10 charge purple finisher deal 166,000 damage make 36 random gems into botch gems pin the opponent so for the entourage we're running woods trickster here we're running riddle 40 percent botch gem damage stacy keebs again 40 percent botch gem damage jimmy oos 2200 botch gem damage we are beefing out the botch gem bonus here 42,000 bonus damage for every botch gem and to go along with that we're going to run the head games plate Whenever we uh, land a critical gem hit, we'll create 10 random botch gems. And we're going double armor with a level 15, 133% damage boost to the purple move. So we're going to get out here, find an opponent, and uh, show them what we got. All right, we got Bianca Belair out here. Five gold versus five gold here. Dakota Kai looking for some damage control. And so we're going to start turn one, 11 random perp. Let's hit that. Now there's a good chance you can cascade here. So that's definitely the weakness of this is uh, you can cascade pins. And look at that. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? But there's the cascade. So you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. Oh, I got to go get, uh, I got to go get my free two times out the store. I got to go get my two times. Okay, so you have to hit the finisher first, because there are no botch gems to to hit here. But 356k, plus all these botch gems, there's a chance you get you hit this on, on just the right board, and they won't be able to kick out because of all these botch gems. And we kind of hope she doesn't get rid of too many of them now. Now, she's straight out. She's straight out. And she's kind of going to fudge up some of the board on me here. There you go. That was a whiff. And so 220k plus 53k for every botch gem. She's at 3.1 million. And oh, ho, ho! look at that. 1.6 million damage on the big boot there on the Kyo kick. And then we just go ahead and we'll spam some purple out here. And remember with all these botch gems and our botch gem damage bonus. If you break a bunch of botch gems that are purple there, you're going to do some decent gem damage too. And then look at that. And then look at that. We could hit the Kyo kick again right now since we still got plenty of botch gems on the board. And uh, that'll be game, set, and match. So, dang. You love to see it. You love to see the triple purple set up. That's actually pretty cool right there. And look at that. Full board of botch. So... Now, there is some chances for whiffs there. If they cascade a lot of gems on that pin and leave you with no botch gems left for the bonus damage there, 
then it's going to be a long match for you. But that went really well. So let's get out here and see what else she's got. Okay, so uh, we swapped out here and we put in a double blue. But before we get to that, we'll show you the moves that we didn't use. So the running drop kick, four charge black, deal 81,000 damage, choose a three by two area to swap into purple gems. So if you had her at four star and didn't have um, the other... Uh, purple move that I use on that first set you could easily swap that in use it with the double foot stomp and the chiropractor whatever um, that'll work just fine um, and then the bicycle kick seven charge black deal a hundred thousand damage and increase the damage of all of your gems by 35% for one turn that looks like it's gonna pair well with the scorpion kick here at six star unfortunately I don't have the six star to show you that but that looks like that's what that's going to pair up with. So I'm not going to use those. But we are swapping in. We're going to put the Diving Double Foot Stomp in. 8 Charge Blue. Deal 111,000 damage. Make 36 Botch Gems into Blue Gems. And the Sleeper Hold. 8 Charge Blue Color Submission. Choose 7 Gems to make into Purple Sub Gems. Do 93,000 damage for 4 turns. Remaining Sub Gems turn into Botch. So I got Lawler and Riddle still here. Uh, Riddle still to just to do the damage when we hit this uh, diving double foot stomp. I got Santa Hogan for an extra MP and 2200 any color gem damage. And I got head of the table Roman 50% blue move uh, sub damage and an extra turn. So now we're doing 140k for five turns. Uh, strap will stay the same. I have no recycling issues with this. Um, so I'm just going to leave the strap exactly the same because if I can get that head games to hit that'll that'll definitely help me on recycling the blue so gonna go ahead and hit this first so we want to hit the ones that we need to charge our move up and then we want the other ones kind of just stay on the board so we're gonna spread them all out Yo, the Truth Nation, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Okay, so we're going to hit this finisher now. 356k, 36 botch gems. She should kick straight out of this. That's not a ton of damage, but it is loading the botch gems on the board. You have to pass the turn. This is, this is like her downfall here. No big cascades. Okay, not terrible. We got plenty of botch gems left. Now, this is kind of like our biggest move here. We're going to turn 36 botch gems into blue gems. We're going to get a big blue cascade. And that'll set us up to start our rotation all the way over again. And, yo, what we hit for? 1.3 mil. 1.3 mil, not terrible there. Oh, and she kicked out. And she kicked out. It's consistent. It's not super impressive in any aspect, but it's very consistent. Same thing. Just make sure you get your purple cascade that you need. Charge your move up. Spread the other ones out. Make sure she stays in that sub. Now my finisher might get her on this rotation because she ain't going to have a lot of health left to try and kick out. So a five star gold, uh, two times through, no problem. Full five moves, got the win. Unless she kicks out of this, I maybe she will, maybe she'll surprise me, but I doubt it. Yeah, no chance. Good night. Okay, so that's what I got for you for the all new Dakota Kai. Actually, pretty awesome and um, fun, different. I like it. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And I'll leave you with that. Until next time. See you.